Hey everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on installing Kali Linux on your Android device. Today we're going to walk through the process step by step. This is a powerful tool that brings the capabilities of Kali Linux to your smartphone. Let's dive in. First things first, you'll need to install two essential tools and Termax and Nethunter Kegs. Don't worry, I've included links to both in the video description below. Go ahead and install these before we continue. Alright, now that you have Termux installed, let's open it up. You'll see a terminal interface, don't be intimidated. We'll go through everything together. Our first task is to update the repositories. This ensures we have access to the latest packages. You'll be asked if you want to continue, just type I for yes. This might take a few moments, so let's be patient. Great job! Now, we need to give Termux permission to access your device's storage. This is crucial for the next steps. Type Termux Setup Storage and press Enter. Your device will ask if you want to allow Termux to access photos. Go ahead and allow this. Next up, we're going to install a tool called WayG. This will help us download the Nethunter script. Type apt install that and press Enter. Again, type I when asked if you want to continue. Now comes the exciting part, downloading the Nethunter script. I've put the exact command in the video description to make it easy for you. Just copy and paste it into Termux. Once the script is downloaded, we need to make it executable. We're almost there. To run the script, type dot slash and then the script name. You'll now see the Nethunter interface. It'll ask you which version you want to install. We're going for the full version with Guy, so type 1 and press Enter. Now, the script will start downloading and installing Nethunter. I won't lie, this part takes a while. It's downloading a complete Linux distribution after all. This would be a good time to grab a coffee or do some stretches. Don't worry, I'll speed up this part of the video. Alright, we're back. The installation should be complete now. It'll ask if you want to delete the installation file to save space. Type EA for yes or N for no, depending on your preference. Fantastic! Neathunter is now installed on your device. To launch it, simply type NH in Termux and press Enter. You'll see that you're now in a Kali Linux environment. Let's try a few things. First, let's update the Kali repositories. Type apt update and then apt upgrade. This ensures your new Kali system is up to date. Let's try installing Kali Linux tools in this terminal. See matrix script shows text flying in and out in a terminal like as seen in the Matrix movie. Remember, default password for this distribution is Kali. Now for the cherry on top, setting up the graphical interface. Exit out of the Kali environment by typing exit. Now, we need to set a password for Nethunter Kex. Type nhkex pass to enter a password you'll remember. Open up the Nethunter Kex app that you installed earlier. In Termux, you'll see a server key. Copy this key and paste it into the Nethunter Kex app. Set up your username and the password you just created. Close and reopen the Nethunter Kex app.
Click on Keck's windows and enter your password. And there you have it, a full Kali Linux desktop environment on your Android device. A word of caution, depending on your device, the GUI might be a bit laggy. If you find it too slow, you might prefer using Kali through the Termux terminal without the GUI. It's faster and you can still do almost everything. And that wraps up our tutorial. You now have a powerful penetration testing platform right in your pocket. Remember to use this responsibly and ethically. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech tutorials. Drop any questions you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.